Hi, and welcome to Eden. I'm Kenneth. Autonomous keeps popping up on our radar. So it's about time that we took a look at this project that could reshape the realm of decentralized autonomous organizations. Let's get to it. Autonomous, or OLAS as most people call it, isn't just another blockchain project. It is a visionary endeavor with a clear vision to change how decentralized autonomous organizations function. Now, at its core, OLAS aims to empower communities by providing them with the tools they need to govern themselves efficiently and securely. Now, when we say govern themselves, we are referring to the ability of communities to manage their affairs, make decisions, and allocate resources without relying on traditional centralized authorities. Now, in the context of OLAS, this means that communities have the power to establish rules, vote on proposals, and manage various operations autonomously through the platform's decentralized framework. Now, by enabling self-governance, OLAS empowers communities to shape their own destinies, foster collaboration, and achieve collective goals in a transparent and democratic manner. This is really cool. OLAS has several innovative core features designed to optimize decentralized operations and governance. Let's take a look at some of those features. OLAS is like a modular framework, which means it's like a set of building blocks you can put together in different ways to create something new and functional. It's like putting Lego together to build a Death Star. Okay, maybe not the Death Star, that's bad, but you get what I mean. Wait, let's look at some real world examples of what this means instead. Think of agents as customizable robots. These robots are made up of smaller parts and modules that you can mix and match. So instead of building a robot from scratch every time, you snap together these parts for that job that you need for this specific task. That is a time saver. Imagine you're creating a club and you need rules for making decisions. Now OLAS lets you pick from different governance modules, like different types of voting systems, whether you need a simple majority vote, or if you need something way more complex, you just choose the module that fits your needs best. Interchangeable protocols are like different tools for different tasks. Sometimes you need a big hammer, and other times you need a tiny precision screwdriver. So with OLAS, you can easily switch between these tools depending on what your agent needs to do, ensuring that you always have the right tool for the job. Security in OLAS works like wearing layers of clothes to protect yourself against the elements. So for simple tasks, eh, you might just need a t-shirt. But for more sensitive operations, you maybe need to add an extra layer like a sweater or a jacket. So this ensures that you're always well protected. But it also means that you can choose the right amount of security for different tasks. For example, if you have a post-it to remind yourself to buy milk on the way home from work, you maybe don't need the extra super duper secure layer of Fort Knox to store that post-it. It's most probably enough with the extra layer from your jeans in your pocket. Imagine your agents need to work in different places, sometimes on one blockchain and sometimes on another one, and sometimes with a mix of both. Now, OLA supports this flexibility, allowing your agents to operate wherever they're needed seamlessly. Now, this modular approach makes OLAS incredibly flexible and powerful, giving developers the tools they need to build and deploy customized, efficient, and secure decentralized applications. Really, really, really cool. <laughs> At the heart of the platform are the autonomous agents. Now, these entities manage a wide range of tasks within the ecosystem, ensuring the platform operates seamlessly without the need of continuous human intervention. So let's be honest, when did you last forget something? Automated market makers facilitate decentralized trading by automatically adjusting prices based on supply and demand, ensuring liquidity in decentralized exchanges. Data oracles fetch and verify external data for smart contracts from real-world events or off-chain information, ensuring accurate and timely execution of these centralized applications. Governance bots handle on-chain voting and proposal execution, 
streamlining the governance process by tallying a vote and implementing approved decisions without manual oversight. Security monitors constantly scan the network for vulnerabilities or suspicious activities, automatically initiating responses to protect the ecosystem from attacks. Now, these were just some examples that illustrate how OLOS agents can perform critical functions across various domains, enhancing the platform's efficiency and reliability. One of the standout features of OLAS is its interoperability and multi-chain architecture. Now, this design not only enhances the scalability, but also allows seamless interactions with various blockchain networks. By enabling this type of cross-chain interactions, OLAS ensures that decentralized applications are not limited by the constraints of a single blockchain, fostering a more interconnected and versatile ecosystem. <laughs> really cool approach. OLAS incorporates sophisticated governance mechanisms that empower communities to self-manage. Now, these include on-chain voting systems and decentralized decision-making protocols, which ensure that the platform evolves according to the collective will of its users. Security is a top priority of OLAS. The platform employs advanced cryptographic techniques and consensus mechanisms to safeguard data integrity and protect against malicious activities. Now, this robust security infrastructure is essential for maintaining trust and reliability within the ecosystem. The potential applications of OLAS are vast. OLAS can be applied in industries such as finance or supply chain management or even social networks, anywhere where decentralized governance and autonomous operations can lead to greater efficiency and fairness. Now, here are two examples of applications that could be built using OLAS. OLAS could, for example, be utilized to create a decentralized finance platform where users can access financial services such as lending, borrowing, and trading without the need for traditional intermediaries like banks. Now, these platforms could offer transparency, security, and accessibility to a global user base, enabling individuals to participate in financial activities more easily and securely. OLAS could be applied in supply chain management systems to enhance transparency and traceability throughout the whole supply chain. By recording key information such as product origins, uh, manufacturing processes, and transportation details on a decentralized ledger, stakeholders can ensure the authenticity and the quality of products while reducing the risk of fraud and counterfeit goods entering the market. Fantastic. OLAS is working on several major projects right now. Now, these projects showcase the platform's capabilities and the potential to transform loads of different sectors. One of the first major projects being worked on is Pearl. Now, Pearl is a project within the OLAS ecosystem. This is a tool that makes taking OLAS, running an OLAS agent, or participating in the agent economy as easy as a few clicks. Simply put, it's the easiest way to run and stake OLAS on an autonomous agent. Now, this innovative application is crafted to simplify your experience with operating agents, all while facilitating the seamless possibility of earning stake rewards. Now, the alpha version was recently released. Go check it out. The link is in the description below. And a note from the Perl devs, if you need any help, please join the OLAS Discord. They are there to help. Now, next up, we have Baby DGen. Now, Baby DGen is your very own autonomous trading agent designed to navigate the fast-paced world of DeFi. Baby DGen trades on your behalf, leveraging various AI models and external data sources with speed and skill. Now, Baby DGen could be your gateway to the next generation of effortless trading. It gathers data from sources like CoinGecko, select strategies from an extensive library, and all trading activities are carried out on Jupyter Exchange on Solana. Now, Baby GGen is currently in closed alpha, and if you want to know more, you can join the OLAS Discord. They have their own channel there. Lastly, let's talk about Omen. Now, Omen is an innovative agent designed to trade in prediction markets on your behalf. Now, it watches for new prediction markets, uses the AI tools to assess probabilities, 
and then places bets accordingly. Now the process is totally autonomous and the agent could potentially earn new winnings based on its trades. Now setting up Omen involves just a few steps. First, you need to ensure that you meet the requirements. Two, you run a quick start script. And three, you tweak your strategies to maximize your earnings. Now, Omen represents the cutting edge of prediction market engagement, allowing you to participate and benefit from these markets with minimal effort. Now, this was just three examples of what is being worked on currently to give you the idea of the possibilities of Olas. Like any ambitious project, Olas faces its share of challenges like scalability, user adoption, regulatory uncertainties are just some of the hurdles that need to be addressed. But however, the team behind Olas is actively working on solutions and improvements to overcome all the typical crypto challenges. Now, looking ahead, the future of Olas looks really promising. With ongoing developments and a growing community, Olas could play a significant role in the evolution of decentralized governance and blockchain technology. I know for one that we here at Eden will be keeping a close eye on this project. This was just our first look at Olas, and from what we've seen so far, this looks like a great project with a great community. And we suspect that we will be making more videos about Olas in the future. So if you're interested in Olas and DeFi, don't forget to subscribe. Well, that's all for today. Stay wonderful, people. Peace.